Hello everyone and welcome back to the garage. I am Ryan and you're all watching RC Fun and Games. And today I'm quickly going to grab this Injura light kit and throw it inside the Jeep build from the other day. Now, I'm going to take it out on a bit of an evening trail. I hope my GoPros do well enough with low light. We'll soon find out. But it's been so hot lately, I can't really get out and get any footage or do any crawling. So, I'm going to get out this evening once I've fitted these lights, and we're going to see what this thing looks like with a set of lights from Injura. Now, I can tell you just by looking at the packet, I only see tail lights and headlights, but you know what? Any lights is better than no lights. So, let's get stuck in. Okay, now that I've got the body off, let's quickly grab this light kit. I really don't think this is going to take long to install at all. Okay, so we get a bunch of zip ties. We get our little light harness over here. Let's just see what this thing looks like. Okay, so as we can see, this is how it comes. Now we have to figure out which is front and which is rear lights, because I'm guessing one set will be red, one set will be white. So we'll plug it in in a second and we'll soon see. So let's first plug this in. Let's just put this there. Now, this has got to plug in. And what are all these things over here? Oh, cool. Okay. These are really awesome. Look at the channel. So basically, you can stick them alongside the body and you can run your cables inside it. That is really cool. And you get plenty of them. So I really like that. So before installing the lights, I need to know which ones are red and which ones are white. I'm assuming these two are going to be the white ones. And I'm assuming these are going to be the red ones. Now, I have to use this side port so I only need two pins I don't need the three-way tab so I'm gonna cut this extra piece right off okay so I'm gonna cut it along that line that you see right there just so we can get rid of the third channel So as you can see, I just took off that piece. Now we've got just a two channel. Okay, so if you want to use the fourth channel on the remote, you are going to need to plug it in to port number six. Okay, and that should give you the function. Let's just leave it like that. See if you can see that. Okay, now if I click it once forward, we get flashing and constant if I go the second time. So very easy to figure out and each one can work off a different channel. It's that's why I like these little receivers and transmitters. They really awesome. Well, now that we know for sure that those are the reds and these are the whites, let's get them installed into the body. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab the body as I know which one goes where. I'm just going to stick them into the holes. Now, looking at it, the upper hole is going to be my light. So just going to push that in there. A nice tight squeeze in, so at least we know they're not going to come falling out. Okay, so as you can see, this is how I did mine. 
I've put a couple of tabs all the way across, just holding it nice and tidy. Now, the back one, that's about as good as I can get it. There's not quite enough length. But you know what? For the price, it's quick and easy to fit. Now, let's just get it plugged into the rig. Okay. That's all on. Throw our controller on. And let's just turn it on. Okay. okay. Now, let's just get this body back on which, like I've mentioned, can be quite tricky with these clips. There you are. Come on. There you are. Okay. So, we've got that installed. Let's turn off some of these lights. Okay, so I've turned off the lights so we can see what these things look like. Let me just turn on switch number one. There's the flashing. Check that out. It looks pretty cool already. And... Now I'll change over to constant. There you are. That looks so cool. What a difference just a little kit of lights makes on a rig like this. Okay, so now the only thing left for me to do is to get out and go and get some running footage of this awesome little truck with its light kit. I am just going to wait for it to get a little bit darker outside and I'm going to go and give it a go to film this with a GoPro. Now, I have never used my GoPro at night, so I don't know how it's going to film, but we're going to give it a shot and let's see how this footage comes out. Now, if you all enjoyed this kind of content, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it really helps me bring more content like this to all of you. So for now, all I've got left to say is happy trails and I'll catch you all on the next one.